Hey YouTubers, it's Jordan Peer, aka JP Dillon, your vintage audio nut bar. This is a kind of a follow-up to a request from a, a previous video I had about the comparisons of the XB700 cushions you can buy online. And uh, somebody asked me, where's the guide that shows you how to take it apart? And uh, I know I had had it before, but the bookmark was dead, and uh, when I went and searched for it on Google, it was no more. So this video will demonstrate how to take the cushion off of your XB700 and replace it, including the trim ring. Now the things you're going to need uh, are a small Phillips screwdriver. I've got two different types. I've got that guy there, and I've got this, uh, I believe it's called a Zero, I forget which, whichever, it's a Craftsman, well, maybe you can see that there, 41293 is the number, if you want it, anyway, um, and then obviously your pair of XB700s. These I've already switched the cushions out on, but I'm going to demonstrate it anyways, just so that you can see what's required to do it. Now to make it easy, what I'll do is I'll shrink down the side I'm not messing with on the headband and expand the side I am messing with to make it easier to deal with. And you want to get this kind of in this position here so you've got the cushion exposed and you can kind of do what you need to do. Let's see if I can adjust the light a little bit here so you can see it better. What you're looking for is a small screw around the perimeter of the inside of the cup. And it'll have a little plastic thing around it. I'm going to pull this back so you can see it. You'll need to hunt for it, but it's usually on either the front or the back of the ear cup. Come on. That screw right there. Let me get my thumb away from it. See how it's got the little plastic bracket around it? That's the one you want to take off. So let's grab our screwdriver here and let's loosen this screw. Oh, and if you have a magnet, like an old speaker magnet, magnetize your screwdrivers. It will save you enormous time when you lose the screw. So, we got our screw out. I'm just going to detach that and put it down there. It only takes one screw to take the cushion off. The rest of them hold the driver in place. So take note of that. I'm going to do a video at a later date of the quote-unquote sub-bass mod that's going around the internet about how to improve low frequency response, sound stage, etc. Now what you want to do, grab your cushion like this, just grab it all the way around, and you're going to twist counterclockwise. Don't be afraid to move it a little bit. And you should feel it turn ever so slightly. And then it should come off just like that comes off in one piece and the plastic trim ring is attached to it. When you replace the cushions, do not discard the trim ring. You will need it. Also, take a look inside. Let's see if I can reorient the light here so you can see it. There are little fingers. See those? Those are guides. And those guides fit into the guides on the headphones. You see that there's a channeled guide here, a channeled guide here, and there's an interlocking one down here. It's hard to see, but look at that one. That interlocking channel guide locks into one of those fingers. Just make sure you orient the uh, screw hole, the one that you took the screw out of, with the correct spot back on the ear cup, which is that guy down there. So, now that you've done that, the next question of course is, how the hell do I get the damn ear thing apart? Um, at the perimeter are these little clips that hold the plastic ring together. You will need to very carefully, with either your fingernail, exacto blade, something very sharp, you'll need to bend these this way. And don't bend them too far, otherwise they'll snap off. 
but you push back on them and what I like to do is with one fingernail here and the other one here sorry you can't see that, it's really hard um, you push on this while you stick your fingernail up and brace the other one and that lifts it up, you hear it just snap back in place it lifts it up and you want to do that around the perimeter to get the rings to separate now if you don't want to do it that way the other more violent way is with a small jeweler's flat blade screwdriver and what I do is I go adjacent to the tab and be careful because you'll harpoon yourself and I stick the screwdriver in here with the tab as I'm getting my nail underneath and pushing up it's a pain this is why nobody likes to do this let's try another one here I keep stabbing myself there we go get the screwdriver underneath like that I don't know if you can see that there and you want to pry towards the clip so you can get the ring up off the retainer and try to keep force underneath it with your fingernail so that it doesn't fall back down and do the next one and once you get about two or three of them you should be able to separate the two ring pieces like this see how I just separated that let's put that down let's see if we can add some more light here there we go, it's a little better and then the other trim piece comes out of the cushion just like that so to, repair, to uh, replace the cushion you see that the ring has a lip on it if the damn camera will focus it's got a lip on it and that lip goes underneath the stitching here it acts as a way to grip the stitching so you slide that lip underneath the stitching and you stretch it stretch the stitching around that lip and make sure that all the stitching is around that lip there just like that when the two pieces of the ring join together they hold the cushion on there via that uh, threaded area so now we're going to take the ring and the larger diameter side goes towards the stitching and what you want to do is uh, basically apply a shit ton of pressure around the perimeter of the ring and get it to snap together like it was before you took it apart. You can hear it snapping in place and it will fight you so be prepared and go around it a second time and make sure everything is in place otherwise it will come apart when you try to put it back on once you can press around the edge and not hear the snapping anymore it's pretty much together as it's going to get and you can give a twi quick test and grab the cushion and tug on the ring and see if it is holding together all around the edge here just tug on it lightly make sure it's not going to come apart but obviously don't you know try to pull it apart so that tells you that the trim rings in place now here comes the fun part and the fun part is getting it back on here. Now remember I told you there's a locking notch here. And so what you want to do is first find your screw hole, which is up here. And orient it to be as close to the hole as possible, slightly counterclockwise. And usually the tooth adjacent counterclockwise to the screw tooth, which is this guy, is the one that locks into the 
little locking piece down here, which is behind my finger. There, the light just hit it. That's what locks into that piece. It's hard to explain it, but if you look at it and you're mechanically adept, you'll see it. So now, line it up as best as possible. And it's always fun. Press down as hard as you can while you turn clockwise. And it may take you a couple of tries to get it. It wasn't the greatest design, but whatever. And apparently my headband's coming apart too, which is awesome. So now uh, that you've done that, peel it back and check to see that the alignment of the screw hole is correct. Just like that, and then reinsert your screw and go. So as you can see, it's not very fun. And unfortunately, the plastic on my headband just broke, so that kind of sucks. These are about eight and a half years old, so it doesn't surprise me. I'll have to find a way to fix that or maybe replace it with metal. Anyways, uh, that is your guided tour on replacing the cushions. Sorry it isn't a little bit better, but uh, with the uh, camera setup I have, that's the best I can do for you. So I hope this is useful. Keep YouTubing.